Hi guys, in this presentation, we shall learn about how to find the number of digits in an integer. So, a problem statement is a problem statement is so before going to this, we shall learn some mathematics. Okay, some mathematics. So, some mathematical background should be there. So, I'll tell you what is. See. Consider some of the numbers like 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Okay. Now, my aim is to find the remainder. Okay. I want to find the remainder if we divide these numbers by 2. So, now tell me if I divide 2 by 2, I'll get the remainder as 0. If I divide 3 by 2, I'll get the remainder as 1. Same 4 by 2. 0 and then 5 by 2 1 6 by 2 0 7 by 2 1 so now tell me what you have observed in this in this observation see every number is less than 2 which is what we are dividing the number right this is okay whenever we divide any number any number by 2 the remainder is in between 0 and less than 2 or equal it's not equal to if equal to it will reset okay less than less than 2 0 or okay greater than okay so so this, this is the condition see 0 remainder than 2 By seeing this case, we can say that 0, 1 will be the answer, right? Now, same question, I will repeat for number 3 and we'll see what we observe from there, okay? If we divide this number 2 by 3, then definitely we'll get the remainder as 2, right? It's, it's simple, right? 2, okay? If 3 is divided by 3, I'll get the remainder as 0. If 4 is divided by 3, I'll get the remainder as 1. So, here the remainder is 2, here the remainder is 0, here the remainder is 1. Again, what is the observation? Now, my observation is all the remainders, okay, all the remainders are exactly obeying this rule, right? In the place of 2, we got the value as 3, right? 0, then 3. So, what are the conditions in transfer? 0, 1, 2. 0, 1, 2. So, now, why I have said this? So, uh, I, I want to give an intuition about why, 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 how, exactly how this, this works, okay? For this, I'm, I'm doing all this, okay? I hope you understand what I have said up to now, okay? This is what we got. Our remainder is always in between that number and zero. Okay, it can be zero also. Okay, that's why I've written equal to symbol. There, okay, now tell me if this number is ten, then what are the possible values that I'll get the remainder? I'll get zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, what's so special in this number? Let's see. Okay. Take a number as 255. Okay. Can I write it as 200 plus 50 plus 5? Yes, I can write. Since it's a base, see, see, now whatever we are using now at present system is decimal system, right? In, in daily life, not, not exactly in computers, but in daily life. Okay. In decimal, in decimal system, we have something called power, right? This is 10 power 0, 10 power 1, 10 power 2. Exactly, it's, 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 that's how it works, right? Okay, 10 power 0, 10 power 1, 10 power 2. Okay, that's how it works, right? I, I mean, if, if, if you take 2 into 100, we got this. If you take 5 into 10, we got this. 
if you take 5 into 10 power 0 is 1, right? Anything to the power 0, okay? Right, anything to the power 0 is 1. So, 1 is 5, okay? I think basics are clear now, okay? Now, tell me if 10 power 0 is 1, so one digit value can be anything in, in the range between 0 to 9, right? It cannot exceed the number exceed the number 9 because if it exceeds the number 9 again it becomes 0 right if it exceeds the number 9 it will become 10 10 means ultimately the last value which is unit space is 0 so in our decimal system we have observed something this place in this place these values should be there right since it's only one digit any one value will be there so according to our previous observation we said that whenever we divide a number okay whenever we divide a number with 10 then we'll get the remainder from here to here so what's so special in that yes there is very special in that let's see suppose i have 255 number same previous example and if i divide it by 10 what i'll get i'll get 25 250 and have you seen something no let's see let's see another example if you take three examples it will be clear if i take a number called three two one and it will i will do the division 32s are 320 i got one take another example let, let, let's take a, a two digit example 99 if i take 10 nines 99 what's the observation my observation is C. Whenever we divide the number, the last digit came as a reminder. Last digit came as a reminder. Last digit came as a reminder. And th that is how it works, okay? Last digit comes as a reminder due to what I've said is previously I have said about how exactly it works, okay? If, if, that, logic, if that logic is understood to you, then th this is very easy, okay? So we got some power in our hand that if we divide a number with 10 we just separate this value okay see 255 is a number we just separated 5 from there by just dividing by just dividing by 10 we got 5 okay if but by somehow i got 255 right okay by somehow if i got 25 if i divide it by 10 i'll got 5 okay by somehow, if I got 2, if I divided by 10, I got 2 as a reminder. See, 2, 5, 5. Each digit is separated. Now, let, let, let me show you with some calculation. Uh, it will be understood to you. 3, 2, 1, division with 10. Okay. 10, 3, 20, remainder is 1. Okay. Your remainder is 1. If I take 32 and divide it by 10, we'll get as 2 as a reminder. Okay. If you get 3 and divide it by 10, we'll get as 0, 0, 3. Now, observation. What is the observation? See, 1, 2, 3. Exactly our equation. I mean, our number. 1, 2, 3. 3 in reverse order so we have learned something that if we divide a number repeatedly okay repeatedly we got the we can separate the numbers okay how many how many times you have to divide is depends on how many numbers if there are three, three numbers that we have to divide it by three so by observing this we can say that okay if if there are three numbers we have to divide it by three we got 321 now is it possible that we can predict how many times we have to divide. No, it's not possible. User may enter four digit or five digit, five digit or six digit. So we have to make sure it should not violate any of the conditions. So by observing this, we can simply say that whenever the coefficient, okay, the coefficient is zero, we can stop our uh, division. Okay, we can stop our division. So let's be clear what I'm talking about. This 32 is taken from here and put it over here. 
this three is taken from here and put it over here okay and we know that the stopping condition is zero so while checking the coefficient if it is zero we can stop the condition it's not zero continue it's not zero continue it's zero stop here stop here okay so now we'll, we will we will convert this into some generic form okay let's see how how, how can we convert 321 by 10 we got as coefficient and remainder alert coefficient remainder side by side so we can observe something coefficient is 32 remainder is 1 if i take the coefficient this coefficient and divided by 10 we got as coefficient as 3 and remainder as 2 again if you take this coefficient 3 by 10 we got coefficient as 0 remainder as 3 so what is our observation see of the observation is remainder shows our number okay coefficient shows our what number should be divided by the next term okay see this 32 is taken from here and put it over here and this 3 is taken from here and put it over here right fair enough so can i write some something which is generic Okay, we'll see how, how to write it. Consider 321 by 10 as coefficient as x. We're taking the same x and dividing the 10, we'll get as an x. Okay, we'll get as an x. And then again, 10, we'll get an x. Okay, see, all are converted. x, 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 x. Since 10 is our, 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 our logic behind 10 is, to separate the last digit okay see can i write 321 as also x yes i can write only if i initialize it to 321 so let's be clear what i'm saying if i'll write as an x okay is it working let's see if x initial value is 321 321 by 10 See, I, I have already written this by two, by two times. See, I have written this, right? 321 by 10 is 32. 321 by 10 is 32, right? This X is taken from here to here. Exactly. So, I have written this in a generic form. Okay? I have written this in a generic form. Now, since this, this and this are equal, can I write like a single statement x by 10 is equal to x? Yes, I can write. So I have to loop this. How many times? Okay, I have to loop this. How many times I have to loop this? It depends on coefficient value, right? If the coefficient is zero, we can stop our loop. Okay, if the coefficient is not zero, we have to continue our loop. So I can write the condition as if the x is not equal to zero up to that it should run okay let's see let's see a small case whether what i have what i have written is working or not let's let's see i have an example of called three five four i'll put it in x okay first step is divided by 10 if i divide by 10 usually division division results coefficient not remainder okay in, in programming if division we get, we'll get the coefficient right three five four by ten is nothing but the coefficient is three fifty 35 right so this value is updated 35 since 35 is not equal to 0 again loop, loop, will, loop will run 35 by 10 which means 3 3 is not equal to 0 again the loop is run loop will run okay 3 by 10 this time the coefficient is definitely 0 okay now loop will stop so we have observed some just observe something whenever the digits are 3 we have looped three times so i can simply say that i'll put a counter inside it okay a, a variable a counter is nothing but a variable which is incremented see i'll tell you what count inside it which will increment by one if this will this will go on one two three count value will be three so initially count value should be zero so we have got the logic okay we have 
this is the main logic main logic now see x should be a number which is given by the programmer or, or, or user right x x is a number which is given by the user so this is our logic so how to implement this logic in a program let's see we have to ask the user to enter the number okay ask enter the number okay and read that number okay since we are reading it in x we have to initialize x as an integer okay fine now i have to loop i can use while loop now x is not equal to 10 x is not equal to sorry, 0 okay zero. what's the logic logic is divided by 10 equal to x okay and then count should be incremented see this and this are equivalent okay don't confuse it, it's just it's just a shorthand to write this okay count plus plus so what are the initial condition the x should be taken from the user i have taken and count should be also given right count and count initial value is zero so this is the program see if we know the logic if you know the logic program is very 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 simple okay in this logic i have made a small small error that is c whenever we got an equation suppose for example if x equal to x x plus 5 x equal x plus for example the right hand side should be after solving the right hand side will update with update to the left hand side right so here it's not the case right so i have just to change from interchange these values okay by 10 okay and i should 10 this should be removed okay a small a small uh, computational error okay let's see same also. this is also now now see if, if, if x value is given by 10 that will be updated to x okay now we'll see the program how to use this program okay how to how to run this is in program okay you can see this is the code which i have which we have discussed earlier and you can see that i have initialized the variables from the user taken taken the value from the user this is our main logic okay let's test it compile it and run it if, if i enter one two three it should it should get three as an answer right three if if, if i enter four digit i'll get the answer as four okay i hope this logic is clear to you okay